We've all heard the song, Pennies from Heaven. But have you heard of Diamonds from the Sky? It might sound crazy, but depending on what planet you're on, seeing diamonds falling from the sky is just as ordinary as rain in Portland. Scientists have recently uncovered complex data on the atmospheric conditions on giant planets like Jupiter. And they've theorized that over certain parts of the planet, massive storms create solid carbon that falls in particles toward the planet's surface. As it does, the atmospheric pressure increases, reaching such an incredible force that the carbon hardens into diamonds. Of course, here on Earth, that process happens miles beneath the Earth's crust over eons of time. But regardless of how it happens, it still seems miraculous to me. Carbon is one of the most common elements in the universe, but with the right amount of time and pressure, it can become one of the most valuable and sought-after objects in the world. It's actually a lot like our journey as Christians. Without Christ, it's easy to feel like we're the most common thing in the universe. After all, there are 7 billion people on this planet. But through our relationship with the triune God, He faithfully refines our hearts, minds, and character to conform to His perfect image. In his letter to the Corinthians, Paul reminds us that we all who with unveiled faces contemplate the Lord's glory are being transformed into his image. Most days, however, I don't look much like Jesus. I'm imperfect, and the process of becoming more like him can be incredibly difficult. Sometimes it's easy to feel like just giving up. But thankfully, God never will. His faithfulness never wavers, and regardless of tough circumstances or slow progress, we're all assured. He who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Even on our worst days, we know that God is still working in us and through us to bring the light of His glory to a darkened world. We might look like plain old carbon now, but we're promised that eventually, in Christ, We will shine as bright as diamonds. I'm Joseph Tkach, speaking of life.